Today, we're going to cover how to create PDFs as well as DWGs inside of ArchiCAD. It's actually pretty quick and easy once you get the hang of it. There's just a few steps and they're surprisingly similar. So let's get started. Let's say you've already got your drawing set already set up in your layout book. You've got your site plan, your floor plan, as well as all of your elevations. All we need to do is go to this little toggle just here and go show organizer. From here, the organizer slash publisher will show up. Now, what we'll need to do is create a new publisher set. We'll call this one plans for publish. We'll go create, we'll double click on this folder and and from here, holding in shift, we'll select from the top to the bottom. Then we'll click and drag these into the publisher set. From here, we can set what these files are exported as. So if we click from the top to the bottom and click format, you'll see that we can select between PDF as well as DWGs and all sorts of other formats. Now, if we hit publish, it's going to give us this warning that we haven't set up publisher set properties, which basically means we haven't set up a file path for it to publish to. This is pretty simple. So if we just click publisher set properties from here, because we're creating a PDF, we just want to go to single file and we want to select the format as PDF. We'll We'll call this one my plans. Now we've got the path. Now what you could do is you could go to browse your local file system and from there you could gradually work your way through and find the file location. That's a terribly inefficient way of doing it. So instead what we'll do is we'll go to our file location and we'll select up in this top bar here. We'll go copy, we'll minimize and we'll go back to the path and we'll go paste and from here we can just go okay and that's set our file location. And in Mac just do the Mac equivalent. Now all we need to do is make sure that we're in the publishers that, that we just created and in here we'll go publish. Now you'll notice that it's only published the one plan. So what we could do is select from the top to the bottom, then go publish. And that's going to publish all of our different plans. But what we can do so this is automatically set up for us and we don't have to go through that every single time because we want to set up as many things as possible on automatic because it's the efficient and best way to do it. We'll go to selected items and we'll go to entire set. So from here, even if we've only got one plan selected, we can hit publish and it's going to publish that entire set. Excellent. So we'll hit close. Let's double check. Yep. And we've got our export. We'll double click and we've got our plans. Now, if you make a couple of modifications and hit publish again, it's going to override that file. So if you want to create another iteration of this publisher set, right click on the set that we just created, go publisher properties, then just give it a different name. We'll just go dash one, we'll go okay. Let's go into the publisher and we'll hit publish. It's gonna go through, tick off all our drawings. We'll go close. And from here, we'll see that we've got our plan exported as a separate and new file. All right, but what about DWGs? Similar type of process. Let's go back out and we're going to create a new publisher set. So we'll call this one on DWGs, we'll go create, we'll double click into the publisher set. And from here, we'll select from top down to bottom and we'll drag these across. And this time, instead of PDF, what we'll want to do, select from top to bottom and select DWG. Now we'll just want to change a couple of things. We'll go back out. We'll right click on this DWGs and go to publisher properties. From here, what we'll actually want to do is create a flat file structure. So what this is going to do is when you give it a destination for publishing, it's going to publish all those DWGs to that specific place. I'll just show an example within our folder. Let's create a new one called DWGs. We'll go into that one. We'll copy its file path. Let's minimize, go back to path, paste that one in and we'll click OK. Go into here, make sure all our files are set to DWG and we've got entire set. And from there, let's just hit publish. Now it's just come up with a little warning that the model space is different to the source view. So this is just meaning that a drawing might need to be updated to make sure that's the most relevant one. For the sake of this example, let's just skip past this. We'll just go continue with publishing because it's it's not a factor. Go continue publish. It's going to go through and save each one of these plans. Now it's not only just going to save the site plan, but it's going to save everything within this page. So that means the title block as well as the legends, everything. If you have logos down the bottom, it'll also save those as well. All right, so that's finished up. Let's go close. Let's go into our folder and there we go. We've got all of our DWG files as well as the images that were on the pages. So if, let's say double click this one, which is the render that we created earlier. That's been exported as well. If I was sending these to an engineer, I'll just delete these images and you've got your xrefs too, which is important for lining up the DWG within the space. So make sure you also send those through to the engineer. If I was to send these through as an email, what I would do, I'd click from top to bottom, holding in shift, I'd right click and I'd send to compress zip folder. From here, I'd write in DWGs and then the project name, arc. And then from there, it's just one folder that we're sending across in an email, not just like 30 different files, which is just a mess. We've got our files all set and saved and we can just send that through. Oh, and if you want this ArchiCAD project file, as well as all of its assets or any of my other tutorial files, make sure to check out my Patreon, which I'm going to link down below in the description. It's where I put all of my ArchiCAD files, adding new ones with each tutorial. Having access to quality base files saves a massive amount of time as well as stress. I can't recommend it highly enough, especially if you're a beginner. If you want to check out more ArchiCAD tutorials, you might like this one just over here. Thanks.